Look, I'm trying to photograph or film dung beetles landing on fresh poop, horse poop. You can see there's one that's landed and is going down into the manure. And you look at all these other flies and stuff like those ones. That's all bird food for all the fledglings. This is why animal manure, particularly big, large livestock, horses, cows, um, what else? Uh, well, sheep, but their poops are much smaller. But this is what's so vital because there's a dung beetle that's just landed right there, crawling down into the manure. Um, so it will lay eggs, it will breed, lay eggs, its larvae will be in there, and it feeds the birds. And all these other little fly things here, like right there, that little fly thing, right there, oop, it flew away. Uh, those will all, <laughs> I can't, you keep bumping my hand. You're gonna make everybody dizzy that's watching my dung beetle movie. Anyway, the dung beetles um, and all the flies and the manure attract all the hard-working birds, as well as dogs, who want to eat. <laughs> I had to pull you back. Um, the pre-cooked vegetables, as it were. So cows, horses, sheep, pigs, all their outdoor manure, when it's in a pasture-like setting like this, means that it's feeding all the birds. See, there's another dung beetle has landed right there. Those are those copper dung beetles. Um, they're copper and then they have these other patterns on the backs of their wings. And they fly in. It's interesting, they fly in kind of like ducks landing on a pond. Here's another um, bug there. Bug, they're all bugs. But this is essential food for the bird population. And so you have to feed the essential food for the bird population. And by feeding that, you have to have livestock in your fields. So here you can see also the diversity of the sward that my animals are grazing. There's some dandelion, there's clover uh, and grasses. That's one kind of grass. This is another kind of grass. Let's see, what else is there? Just in the vicinity around this little bit of manure, there's a daisy. These are good for the stomach. So <clears throat> the dandelions are good for the soil and bringing up vitamins and minerals and the livestock love them. And the uh, clovers are good for adding nitrogen to make the grass grow even more. So this is all part of the whole nutrient cycle to enrich the uh, biodiversity. There's another one. God, they're just flooding in are the dung beetles. I mean, loads and loads and loads of dung beetles. And this is not very old poop, horse poop. But, oh, and here's, there's nettles. And yes, there's a few thistles, but the horses will graze those. And more dandelions. In other sections in this paddock, there's yarrow. Can you please? I'm talking about it. You don't have to eat it and pretend you're a dung beetle. Isn't that right? I've just given hay to the horses, so um, that's why I'm up here and Inca's guarding my... That's the bit of hay netting, which is the plastic around the hay, which... Ah, uh, sure, I think somebody's invented some that decomposes and can be eaten, but uh, not the lads who I use. They don't use it yet. So, oh look, here's another herb there. That's a different herb. Um, uh, my mind's run a blank. I can't think what it's called. Yes, so this is what biodiversity and farming is all about. It's feeding everything. The soil, the plant life, the animals, the manure then feeds the insects, which then feed the birds, and the birds then feed the birds of prey. There's also the rabbits that feed off the grass and the richness of the grass and then they feed the foxes. It's all within the cycle and this is a vital element in it is the dung beetle population which is being annihilated by wormers, heavy worming and heavy pour on insecticides in the livestock industry. So that is an important, vitally important 
part of biodiversity anywhere in the world where there is manure and for our own food consumption. Plant nutrient value is frightfully important. Everybody's joined me around this pile of manure. <laughs> Even oven mitt, the farm cat. We're all around this pile of manure, which is the vital ingredient to biodiversity, plant nutrient, soil health, and everything that that entails. Look at this. I'm just surrounded by everybody, including Pepper, around my pile of manure that I've been talking about. <laughs> Bear's protecting my hay thing. Oh, and here comes the wayward soul. Where have you been? Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> this is an example of birds getting in to eat the dung beetles. Here you can see the dung beetles. Oh, I'm being bumped by a cat. That is a dung beetle walking across there. And oh, I'm being bumped by a cat again. I'll admit, you love bug. You're getting very involved in my conversation about the importance of dung and dung beetles. But you can see how... <laughs> I'll admit, are you helping me? You can see how this manure has dried out. <laughs> and that's the dung beetles have dried it out. The birds have spread it out to eat the dung beetles, the dung beetle larvae depending on what kind of bird it is and what they're pursuing. So this is another pile of dung <laughs> and a vital ingredient in the biodiversity because all the birds now have hatchlings and they need to feed them. And this is the highest form of food is beetle proteins, which are my <laughs> I just had the cat jump on my head. <laughs> Where'd you go, oven mitt? Oh, he jumped up and then he jumped down. Oh, too funny. Anyway, I'm trying to be very serious about talking about biodiversity. And instead I have cats, dogs, <laughs> playing and walking and jumping all over me. Anyway, there's a nice view <laughs> of trees. 